This is only a test. This is a test. This is only a test. This is a test. This is only a test. This is Commander Chuck Street at KISS. 8.35, coming up, we'll do battle. The battle of the sexes in about 10 minutes as the ladies put the men right in their place. Today, hazy afternoon sunshine, a high of 82. Right now in Hollywood, it's Kareem, 66, and this is Prince. Hump day, thank God it's hump day. Cause now I've just got three more days until the weekend gets me out of here. It's hump day, thank God it's hump day. And there's no hump day like a hump day with great days in the morning. Thank you, baby. Sometimes known as <laughs> the white one. You know when he's white. You know you can feel it, baby. Thank you. You know it, hear it, his timing's so white. He's a honky, uh-huh, uh-huh. You picked a white one, baby. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, wow. He's a honky. If he's totally white, readable, and Caucasianly dreadable, and ain't got no butterball, you picked a white one, baby. Uh-huh. You. You just got the face in. You got the white one, baby. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. You got the white one. Uh-huh, uh-huh. If he's completely bad, boonable, very uncolorful, and laughably full of bull, you pick the white one, baby. Uh-huh. <laughs> Thank you. I think 840... 20 minutes till 9, coming up next. The Battle of the Sexes. No, you're never gonna get it, get it. In Vogue. Hold on, my love, and you ain't never gonna get it. That's been number one on the weekly top 40 countdown every weekend for the last four weeks. They didn't they they did that song as a joke. <laughs> no, the, really. These ladies in, in Vogue did that song as a joke. And now look at it. Okay, it's 844, 16 until 9 and The Battle of the Sexes. We're not worthy! We're not worthy! Yes, you are. It's female versus male. And I will ask the manly man questions of the ladies, and Ellen Kay will ask the feminine questions of the men, and let's see where the chips fall. Where are they right now? Right now, well, this is how it should be. Mm. Yesterday, we had a huge dispute over the mid-engine car. You said it's in the back? Yeah. A man called and said it's actually not all the way at the back. It's kind of in the middle. Oh, no. I think the females should be given a point for yesterday, so we're tied today. Wait a second. Ellen, hold the music. Yeah. It was 25-23. The men were leading the women. Like I said, the women should be given a point. <laughs> so, so we're 25-24 today. Instead of a tie yesterday. Oh, oh we man, have Rick. Well, you know, first, let me just run down a couple of things. Uh, on, on no less than four different occasions, Ellen has walked out on this. Yes. It's gotten so personal. It has to be fair. And you gave us a point when it counted some time ago. That's true. Yes. So I will go ahead. We'll concede. Yes. It's a point for the All ladies right. from yesterday. Thank you. Okay, it's okay, a pleasure. I feel great today. 25 to 24, the, the men are actually leading by one. By one, and say hello to Helen Marquez of Whittier. Hello, Helen. Hi. What are you up to right now? I'm working. Where? Um, at a chemical company. And let's get the name of it so we can plug it for the you. The name of the company is Shoop Incorporated. Did they realize at this company in Whittier that everything is on the line to, to tie it up for the ladies? Absolutely. You represent every woman listening right now. Well, we're just going to tie it up. I mean, there's no question about it. Mm -hmm. Robert Heasley of Anaheim. Hello, Robert. Good morning, Rick. And tell me about yourself in a couple of seconds here. Uh, I work at a place called Aerospace Engineers in Anaheim. Uh, we manufacture parts for some of the larger companies, uh, General Dynamics, uh, McDonnell Douglas, Northrop. Did you hear what Helen said about you, that you have absolutely no chance? Uh, and I don't agree with that, Rick. Because he's a manly man. Is. He is. That's right, Rick. Well, here we go. The males are leading by one. It's the Battle of the Sexes underway here at 8.46 exactly. Ellen, I'll even let you go first oh, again. Oh, great. Okay, Robert, here we go. A woman you see is wearing a large yellow diamond. The diamond is yellow because A, it's dirty, B, it's rare and expensive, or C, it's fake. Uh, it's B, it's rare and expensive. It's called a canary diamond. Oh, yeah. 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 
He is a man of men. <laughs> He's hot. Helen. Yeah. Okay, for you, what is a right cross? Every manly man would know what this is. A right cross. Um, a salute. I have no idea. <gasps> Oh, all right. It's uh, it's one of the classic punches thrown in boxing. Oh, I should know that. My husband's an absolute avid boxing fan. I'm in trouble when I go home tonight. A right cross. Yeah, it's the one of the the first punches you learn in boxing. You should have given me an uppercut, a jab. You know, those I know. Yeah, but you would have gotten that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Robert, explain fully, fully what color is topaz. Topaz. Topaz is also a stone. It's a, a kind of a dark yellow, light Ex brown. Explain it fully, though, Robert. That's not a complete answer. Wait a minute, wait, Ellen. Wait, for you heaven. see, you topaz is actually a hue, and there are several colors of topaz. There's blue. Okay, wait, wait. Let him go ahead and see which ones there. Okay, blue and what else? Uh, go ahead. Can you give me the rest of them? No, you give us the rest. I of give them. you the rest of them. Um, as far as I was, as far as I knew, topaz was. Uh, actually, it goes from a no, very no, light Robert, yellow. now you're starting to lose. Now you're starting to <laughs> swallow your Where's saliva. Where's the buzzer? Where's the buzzer? Oh, no. He started out so <laughs> he's strong, and now he's bold. Now he's, now he's, 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 he wasn't wrong. He just wasn't yeah. totally right. Uh, that's okay, Robert. Do not be intimidated by this person. You I see, don't let Ellen intimidate you. She tries to do that to all the men. That's right. Both personally in her personal life and on the air. Right. Stay strong, Robert. <laughs> okay, bud. Oh, now we've got phones ringing and people... Oh, oh, man. This is the Battle of the Texas. Okay, Helen, for you, this question. What is a haberdashery? A what? A haberdashery. Wow. What is a haberdashery? Come on, Rick. A dog? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a place that sells men's accessories. Uh. For, for, since the early 1400s, a haberdashery has been... A place that sells men's accessories. When I see the name haberdashery, I'm off the street and in the shop because oh, I'm, a, man, I'm attracted to a manly man. man. Hey, Ellen, will you like, really give Robert a hard one here? Okay. Okay. Right. Be fair about this. Here we go. One nothing, Robert, after two. Oh, and no. if he gets this right, the men win. That's right. Okay. Okay. You're looking at your wife or your girlfriend's bracelet, and you turn it over, and it has a little inscription that says, T and Company. What does that stand for? Tiffany and Company. Oh, so easy! Oh. <laughs> the men win. The score now. Oh, they're at 26-24. Uh, Hit by only two. The Battle of the Sexes. Stay here every day at KISS. Another great victory. <laughs> oh, whoa. 8-50. 10 till 9. Cheap shots! Good night. Eight fifty-one. Nine minutes until nine o'clock. Got some D sleaze coming up for you. Also, if you have any questions, comments about candid phone or about the battle of the sexes, five two zero one zero two seven or nine seven seven one zero two seven. Genesis. Yep, uh, Wiseman. Uh, oh, there you Willard. are. I've, uh, I let the record go all the way up because I want to listen to the last little symbol note there. Uh -huh. <laughs> what are you doing? I What are you doing? I leave you in here to help me for three seconds and you let... Th that's the worst thing you can do is let them drain out all the way like that. Gosh, oh, Wiseman. One day he'll learn. What a here. slush bucket. Man. Really, for heaven's sake. I Will it? Hey. I, I'm just trying to start a job, and you humiliate me in front of everybody there. I hate you. Willard, you don't belong Mr. by the controls. Well, shut the hell up. <laughs> you don't you, you say you shall Hey, oh, he's out of terror today. <laughs> hey, hey, clean, wise man. We hear what you're saying. You may be excused stop, now. Stop, stop, say, hey. Stop hey. talking like that. Oh, we hear what hey. you're saying. Now stop it right now. Me. Stop it. The hands <laughs> off of me. You get him out of this. Just get him out of this. Wise man, leave the studio at once. Hey, did you hear what he said? I heard. Yes. Did you hear that yes. as he was walking out like he doesn't think that can be picked up on the air? Yeah, right. 
Woo, man. I apologize. It was a mistake. He's been drinking. He let the song drain out all the way, which is just so small market. You just don't do that in Los Angeles. I mean, you can do that in Burlington, Vermont. You can do that in Kenny Bunkport, Maine. Right. Lafayette, you can, Indiana. Lafayette, Indiana. You don't let that happen in Los Angeles. There's just... <laughs> He did it. But once he gets around that Bubinga dream, it's all over. Did he get into that I this morning? I think so. I think he did. We need to lock that up, you guys. Yeah, really. That's, that's only if anybody has a problem with their sinuses. <laughs> exactly. Or if the humidity is really bad or if there's a uh, second stage alert. Only in those cases are any of us allowed any Bubinga dream. Okay. You cannot operate heavy equipment on the Bubinga dream. No. You know that. And he tried to do that yeah, this morning. that's right. Look, look at him down the hall. He's holding something up at you. Look, <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's trying. <laughs> no, the wall is fine. Don't try to hold up the wall. Please. It's Ellen Kay at 857. <laughs> Good morning. Well, the letters are in the mail today to businesses that were destroyed during the riots. It's time to clean it all up. Most of the buildings are hazardous. That is why 150 of them are ordered to be cleaned up immediately. They've got to come down, be leveled, and then hopefully, with insurance money, be rebuilt. And the bad boys were caught yesterday. Four guys have been arrested in connection with a string of follow-home robberies. There's a woman. Her name is Catherine Rothenberg, 53 years old, at Woodland Hills. She came home from the grocery store, was jumped in her own garage. The four guys have been caught. Her purse and her ring were stolen, and they've been returned. Now, Carlo is a pregnant man. He lives in the Philippines. It's not his real name. His real name is unknown. But he's expected to give birth by C-section next month. You see, Carlo is a hermaphrodite. He's a man and a woman. He has male characteristics and female oh, characteristics. Oh, this is a good one. This All is right? a good one. Has this ever happened before? There are 48 hermaphrodites in the world. Oh. Now, this is one of the first pregnancies, and it will be a successful pregnancy because the baby is due in about one month. Carlo said, my breasts are already big enough, and I'm starting to lactate, his doctor said. An ultrasound has been conducted. It's been confirmed that inside Carlo's womb is a healthy baby, complete with all the physical features. It's a baby girl. So a C-section is needed because Carlo's hips are narrow like a man's. He still has male hips. So Carlo <sighs> said... Why is this revolting me? <laughs> I mean, Carlo is married, and he said his desires are that of a woman. So after the baby is born, he wants to be fully registered as a female, and that's that. <laughs> Little magic in Manila. <laughs> that's right, <laughs> Carlos. I got to get a picture of this person. Can you imagine what it looks? Uh, he looks like. Uh, he, she is a hermaphrodite. Who knew? Don't call that number. I said don't call that it's number. Ringing, it's, oh, come it's on, eight fifty nine. Don't call that. Oh, who could that be? Thank you for calling the Rick D's Information Hotline with a complete list of all of Rick D's TV appearances. 1984, The Love Boat. 1992, Roseanne. Please look for Rick D's next appearance in another eight years. Thank you for calling. <laughs> we'll take a look at the freeways next here at KISS. What's your favorite place to enjoy the sun? My... 9.05, and this is KISS, K-I-I-S, FM and AM, Los Angeles. Some morning drizzle, and it's just a gray morning, then hazy afternoon sunshine coming around noontime. A high today of 82 in Hollywood, 66 degrees in C.C. Peniston. C.C. Peniston, finally. Yeah, she wanted to be a singer ever since her first break came when she was in the sixth grade, landed in a production at the Phoenix Black Theater. She's from Phoenix. Rick D's from Skid Row. Spousal arousal next. It's 9.09. Hold on, little girl. Woo! It's Mr. Big. And just to be with you, 9.12. It's 102.7. You found Kiss in the morning, and we have... We've had some problems with the husbands trying to get their wives to come home. Yesterday, we had one who said yes. Mm -hmm. But on spousal arousal... It's been tough. Yeah. Several have said no. If you can get your spouse to come home before noon today, I got a Sega Genesis system for them. For both of you. The leader of the 16-bit revolution, along with Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes. And Sega's newest game, Sports Talk Baseball. You love this oh, one, Vic. Oh, it's a great one. Sega is the best. So, it's <laughs> spousal arousal. And Melanie, hello in Torrance. How are you? Hi, Fine. They tell me you've been married 12 years. Uh-huh. What can you say or do differently to get your husband to come home? What can I say or do differently? We'll find out, won't we? Uh-huh. I understand his name is Robert. Right. He's at a body shop. He works at a body shop? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 
So I'll tell you what we'll do. You heard about what you can get. I'm uh -huh. also going to throw in a weekend, romantic weekend for two, at the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel, home of the Cine Grill. And that's a great place for Sunday brunch. Just call ahead, get a reservation going there. Sometimes you don't even need a reservation. Great. They just open their arms to you, the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel. Great. One of the bright spots of Hollywood. And right now, let's give them a call. Okay. Spousal arousal. Mm-hmm. Do you work, Melanie? In Gardena. Oh, I got you. Okay. Fine. Here we go. We're calling the body shop right now. Hello, Van Lingens. Hello, Van Lingens. Hi, is Robert there? Yeah, just a minute. Ooh, listen to this. Oh, no. What is that instrument? That's a bad synthesizer. <laughs> bad. Oh, that's horrible. Who's down your time if it were Oh, it's like an in house commercial they run while you're on hold. We'd like yep. to know that we provide complete collision reconstruction on all makes and models. You can rest assured that we'll do the job Listen right the this. first time. Because we've got what it takes. It's He's on another line. Would you like to hold? Um, okay. Can you tell him to hurry? Yeah. Just a moment. Oh, no. Now minutes. we go back to that hold stuff on. again. So. Oh, yeah. Hit it. Yeah, Come on. Mm -hmm. Bring it up. <laughs> She kind of sounds like you, Ellen. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. I can't hear you. Well, I'm out in the warehouse. Okay. What are you doing? I was on long distance to uh, uh, Oregon. Oh. She told me to hang up. It was real important. I picked it up. Oh, okay. What's the matter? Nothing. Well, something. Well, I just wanted to know if you wanted to go home. How come? I just wanted to know. I can't hear you, Mel. Just to meet me at home. Well, yeah, I can. Yeah? Pardon me? Okay. Why, well, what's up? Well, what do you think? Well, I don't know. Well, if you go home, I'll show you. <laughs> Why are you going to go home? Well? Pardon me? No, I can't hear you. Just to go home. Okay, I'll meet you at home. When are you leaving? Well, Mel? Uh, about 11. I'll take an early lunch. Okay. Can you do that? Yeah. Do you know why I want to go home? Um, to visit me, I guess. No. What? Yeah, I'd be to visit you. Okay, I can't hear you, honey. It's, I mean, can you call me back from a different phone? No, because the phones are messed up here today. Okay. I thought maybe you'd want to meet me down at that place first, the tinderbox. Why? To get a surprise. Okay. No, I'm having such a hard time hearing you. I mean, I can barely, I can barely make out what you're saying. Give me a number where you're at, and I'll call. It. What would? Can I just call Patty back and have her transfer me back to you? No, because the phones are out of order. Right. Where are you calling from? Robert. I'm calling from work, but I'm out in the Robert. Warehouse. Robert, are you going to meet her or aren't you going to meet her? What she wants is to nail you at lunch, Robert. <laughs> is it? Is it a yes or is it a no? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> it's Rick D's in the morning here, Robert. Good morning. Well, I know my wife, you know, so I, I was being real careful. Well, we got see, we got about 11 other people on the phone that's draining the line. Okay. And, and uh, you did say you'd meet her, didn't you? You bet. Yeah, she she wants she wants you to meet her for a little nooner. Well, uh, she'll, she, she'll get more just a little. Oh, <laughs> baby. Well, Robert and Melanie, I'll say that's a win on spousal arousal. That's what this is called. All right. And have a wonderful time today. All right. Thanks for the call. Get your excuses together. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it always says we, we, more of us have got to get off the line so they can hear each other. That's yes. what it is. So no problem. <laughs> if you think you can do it, give us a call at 520-1027. It's spousal arousal. 918. Thrifty. And you. I keep the... <laughs>